Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and I'm a Tumblr creator. And in this video, I'm going to show you a vibrant sunflower herringbone tumbler. So let's go ahead and get started. For this tumbler, I have pre-selected five different AB Designs glitters that I'm going to use for this design. I'm going to start off with Lagoon and Bumblebee, which are both a gorgeous diamond cut. And not to worry, I will have all of these glitters and the vinyl listed for you down in the description below. I've also chosen to use Minty, Mauve, and Wisteria, which are all three beautiful metallic vines. I've chosen this beautiful AB Designs vinyl, which is a vibrant sunflower design for the design today. And as you'll notice, my five colors correspond beautifully with this vinyl. So we're basically just going to fold this in half, turn it around, fold it in half again so that we have four separate triangles. Once we have this folded into fours, we're just going to cut one of those small pieces of triangles out for the tumbler design today. Once we have our triangle cut, we're going to go ahead and place that on the tumbler first. I'm not being too particular about how it is at the rim of my tumbler because I'm just going to use my edge cutting tool and trim that up anyways. However, of course, if you wanted to make this go all the way to the rim, just be more cautious when applying it to the tumbler. So to make my stripes for the herringbone design, I'm just going to use painter's tape. I do like to kind of overlap my tape to the vinyl so that I can trim that off with the X-Acto knife. And this way I just have really nice, as straight as lines as possible. We're just going to use the painter's tape and follow it along right to the point of the V. Once we get right up to the V, I'm then going to use my X-Acto knife to slice the straightest line possible. Go ahead and remove that excess and don't worry about the lines. We are going to sharpen them as we go when we get ready to paint and glitter in. So then you're going to take the painter's tape right where it ends, match it up and follow it along the other side. Once you get to the other side, we're just going to go ahead and use the X-Acto knife and cut right here where the two tape pieces end. I'll go ahead and tighten up where the tape overlaps my vinyl and I'll just cut that off. Again, we're not worried about that because we can tighten up those edges when we get ready to glitter. Now for the next lines, we're going to go ahead and buddy up with the, with the existing tape and once again follow that down. Again, I like to overlap my tape so that I can just trim that excess. So again, I try to have the sharpest lines possible. So this next, technically the third piece of tape, is going to go all the way down past the first two pieces, if that makes sense. So once you have your tape lined up, we're gonna go ahead again and use the X-Acto knife to trim it as straight as possible. So you wanna keep doing these exact same steps throughout the entire tumbler until it's completely taped off. I did cut some of this out because it was a bit time consuming and decided to go ahead and fast forward some of the clips so you guys could really see exactly how it's done.
Once I had all of my tape in place, I decided to go ahead and label my tape per the color glitter that I'm going to use. I'm also going to be using the Hippie Crafters acrylic paint and in case I'll have to make some pouring paint because I'm almost out of my white. But I'm going to pull back each section that is per labeled for that glitter. So this definitely made it much easier since I was working with five different glitters to keep track so that no two glitters lined up the same. So once I have pulled back my tape and exposed my tumbler, I was then able to go in and just paint in those sections. Even the sections where I pulled my spray paint, not a big deal because we're going to paint that and glitter right over it. I do want to mention once I was painting in my sections and glittering them, I did not seal after each glitter coat. I just kept going until the entire tumbler was completed and fully glittered and then I sealed the entire tumbler twice. Sealing the glitter with the clear seal from Rust-Oleum will help lock in and control those glitters so that when you get ready for your first coat of epoxy, it doesn't contaminate other sections and the glitter stays in place. So as I continue to glitter this tumbler, I just wanted to mention that I am deeply sorry I did not have a Tuesday video and today's video is late. Um, I walked into the new year super, super sick and I have been battling that since literally the new year. So unfortunately, my new year wasn't that grand, but I really hope that you all had an amazing new year and I'm happy to be back and getting on the path to feeling better and getting some energy back. So pray for me. Let's hope that I'm on the upside of this sickness and I can get back and get in my craft room and start pushing these tutorials out. I really hate not being in my craft room for you guys. So please pray for me that I'm on the upside of this sickness and things are looking up in the right direction. So now back to the tutorial. At this point, we're gonna to continue to follow the pattern that we set forth for ourselves, and we're gonna to continue to paint in these sections and glitter. Just remember, once you've completely glittered your entire tumbler, allow this to fully dry and then seal this at least twice with the clear seal from Rust-Oleum before moving on to your first coat of epoxy. Now that our tumbler is dry and fully sealed, it's time to go in for our first coat of epoxy. I'm going to be using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY for my first coat. As always, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see. Once your tumbler is cured, it's time to go in and just give her a feel and sand down where you need to. I had a couple of sections that I had some sharp bits poking out and I just really wanted to sand and smooth that out before placing my vinyl for my stripes. Once you have your tumbler sanded down, make sure you wash it and get all that dust and debris off before moving on. Here I'm going to be using a beautiful textured Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl for my stripes. This is a beautiful gold. I've been using it quite a bit lately because I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with it. I'll make sure that there's a link down for you in the description below so you can check it out. And because I'm profound for showing you my mistakes so that we can correct them later, here I wanted to show you that instead of stopping at the vinyl, I should have taken this first stripe 
all the way down to the darker blue section. I definitely realize this as I proceed to continue with my stripes and I do show you that I corrected it. It's a very simple, simple fix. So we're just gonna go ahead and meet back here at the yellow and start striping off this section. You'll soon see that I follow it all the way down as you're supposed to. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure at which point that I realized I had a, a mishap, but again, it's super fixable. So we're basically just gonna follow the lines that we created. Now here is where I should actually stop. I'm stopping at the teal, whereas my first gold stripe should have went all the way down that teal side and met up with the deep blue side. I really hope that that makes sense. As we meet where we're supposed to with the final stripes, we're just going to use the X-Acto knife and trim off the excess. So we're going to go ahead and continue to stripe off the tumbler until we have all of our stripes in place. Once I had completed the rest of the stripes, I went ahead and went back in to remove the first stripe to go ahead and correct that. So once I corrected my mistake, this tumbler did not need to be sealed and was ready for its next coat of epoxy. For this next coat of epoxy, I am again going to be using the Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. As always, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see. This tumbler did require one more coat of epoxy and she was completed. And that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if so, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon.